takes a while to take down the overlay. Kellen uh, is still still muted. Um, let me let him know that he is. Or actually, I'll try to rejoin the channel. I can't hear him right now. It's still muted. Nope, you're good now. She, I just, I was, ta I went on a really nice spiel. Oh, okay. I was really <clears throat> doing a nice caster thing. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, go, 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 with it, go with it. Go with it. Yep. Nobody could hear you. Well, I, it's I, too late. It's too. I already said it. I uh, okay. I forgot uh, what I said. Well, yeah, we're going into the legal penguin versus kickass. I think. You know, Tikas is definitely uh, the favorite to win this one. But uh, we saw from last series that that doesn't necessarily matter. Nope. So Germans versus French as well on Iowa, uh, which is a map we didn't see last series. Uh, so it's going to be cool to see it here. That's correct. Um, that's something I said when he had me muted. Oh. Uh, no hard feelings. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. But yeah, like I said, most players veto this map because, as you can see, it's quite unstandard because there's a, such a narrow choke in the middle of the map which can be easily walled. And it means that a lot of the gameplay sort of goes in this semi-circular, you know, kind of pattern around these four lakes. But going to be an interesting matchup. We do have Kick-Ass in the color blue playing German in the north of the map and Legal Penguin. Uh, as cyan, uh, French, and the south of the map. You actually uh, switched up the colors. Uh, Legal Penguin is the um, northern Oh, map. whoops. No My problem. Bad. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no surprise that Kickass is going to be playing the French. Um, yes. He is, he is known for his first three times. Um, yeah, Legal Penguin, though, going. Uh, I wonder going if we'll see that. Uh, I, I, I certainly hope we do. Um, <clears> it's going to be really it's... interesting versus Germany, who can get out quite a cab mass of their own. Yeah, I mean, I, I've definitely I've lost at least once to to the Kickass three cab as Germans, uh, where I just <laughs> I, was not expecting it to come. And then, I mean, I should have. I, I lost it. I've lost it in a French mirror more mm -hmm. than once. Definitely, it's it's honestly, it's not that bad if you can get a nice wood treasure or food treasure and stuff. Yeah, it's surprisingly difficult to hold. I think honestly, but maybe I'm bad. Both players going off for an early trading post. Uh, Germany is going to get theirs up and will get this first pass. Going to get his uh, two settler wagon shipment in quite a bit sooner than French get their three CDP, which is going to be a huge help to his economy. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm checking some on my mic settings right now uh, just to make sure. Oh, everything is you're good. fine. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, I see. No problem. Interesting. So. Uh, Legal Penguin does have that shipment queued. Uh, has not chosen a deck yet. Uh, ideally, should get that sent as soon as possible. Uh, it's possible that um, he's not used to having a shipment this early and hasn't chosen this deck yet, just off of habit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, 3 CDB has been sent by the French player. And both players just sort of scouting around. Looks like German is going to pick up 40 food. Um, other good treasures on the map. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to look. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's no, not a whole food. lot of great ones. Yeah, yeah um, eighty food is nice. Yeah, eighty food in both uh, both uh, sides. Um, uh, ninety five wood uh, actually. Yeah. There's the ninety five wood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a sixty wood right next to it actually. So yeah, very strong treasures over on this north side. Uh, Kick ass going to yeah. be picking up this eighty food down in the bottom, uh, which is great for him. Um, that is nice. Uh, we'll kind of smooth over his, his age up with a slightly more expensive CDB, 125 food now, and then in the newest patch. Yeah. Um, Legal Penguin just a moment ago expressing a little frustration having forgot to ship his two settler wagons until a little bit later in the game. Um, yeah, not, it, nothing it's not nothing a, too much, though, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, oh, it's well. not a huge deal. He's still got that, uh, I mean, he's got the 18 villager age up, which, if you're going for semi-FF, doesn't actually slow down your fortress time, or so I'm told, by Mido himself. So, uh, it, it's not the end of the world, for sure. And he does, he just got the 95 wood. Yeah. So, that's going to be a nice pickup for him. Yeah, he was actually, I think, going for that 60 wood at first, but then uh, as he was running back, he found that 95 wood. And, uh, of course, this is a very powerful treasure to be taking. I think he'll be able to... Potentially pick up the second trading post if he wants, um, but uh, even if he doesn't, he can do a lot with that 95 wood. It's basically a free house. Uh, it really smooths yeah. out a lot of Germans. Um, Germans, I think, uh, I've played them enough um, 
to know that if you try to go for like Ulans at the beginning of the game, um, it can be a little bit awkward with all the housing. Uh, if you want to also get a market up um, and a trading post. It's, it's very awkward. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it, he'll pick it up soon. Yeah. It, but, it, I mean, I don't play Germany a lot, but when I do, I find I'm routinely housed in early H2 for the yeah. reasons you mentioned. It, it, it's but just like that, that, that 40 house, uh, that 40 pop yeah. isn't enough. You need to get to 50. No. Um, and then... Which is frustrating because yeah. you also, you know, want to get your your second tier market upgrade then too. You know, yeah. there's still traps and stuff, so... 95, good pick, pick up. <clears throat> yeah. Looks like, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what, uh, hit, uh, sorry, Le Legal Penguin is doing. He's going to be getting that market up now. Uh, he has that 95 wood, and is going to be picking up um, this 60 wood treasure too. So he's going to be oh, in pretty good shape for this. Oh, that's going to be yeah. nice. Uh, also chopping a little bit of wood, micro but there, but yeah. I think he'll still get it. Um, Kick-Ass is Explorer still quite a, quite a ways away. Or uh, he's choosing to just leave it alone. Yeah, I mean, kick ass. He picked pick up that up. Iroquois. Uh, I would, I would be happy to see him pick up this uh, Cherokee as well. Uh, it looks like that's what he's going to go looks for. Looks like he's going to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no complaints about that. And he has a cool scout. No. He has a scout. Yeah. And, right. And, and I like his scout placement too. To yeah. sort of, uh, you know, they're sort of in preparation for that two Ulan right that's sure to come here in, in a minute or so. I mean, yeah, this uh, catches pretty much everything. This, right? this, the scout. Yeah. Um, it, a lot of players are not going to go onto these these wings of the map uh, to get what they need uh, to to move their units around. They're going to go right through the center, um, and when you do that, right. yeah, certainly it not catches everything. So yeah, getting the Cherokee as well. Uh, his explorer's a little bit low on hit points, but not too bad. Um, and unfortunately, the age up um, is coming, meaning that th these these natives aren't necessarily going to be able to make it work. Um, right, like they can easily just add a two lands that just happen to catch them. Uh, right. Hopefully that doesn't. And happen, actually. But, Kickass is scouting with his, with the scout under the TC. Uh, I would have liked to have seen Eagle Penguin shoot that with his villagers. For anyone yeah. watching who doesn't know, it takes seven, uh, one shot from seven villagers in the TC and one from eight is the most efficient way to kill a native scout, oh. assuming he doesn't go into cover mode. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, I mean, because this can be such a powerful unit well into the game, it's nice to kill him when you can. Yeah, you can get so much information out of native uh, scouts that they're just stealth um, right next to the army. Um, it's something that actually we don't see a lot happen, but it, it can, or it's it's almost underrated how how valuable it is to get that sort of information. Um, right. Exactly. It, it, yeah, it, it, it's it's extremely helpful to, to have around, and uh, it's, you you want to keep this alive as much as possible, so you don't want to put it under the TC. Uh, Legal thing we're going for that stable, move, putting his houses actually out a little bit far. You can see he moved um, that uh, yeah. third house. Pretty far away from his town center, um, and that, it that's could okay. be alright. It, yeah. It's a little bit of line of sight, at least. Yeah, um, um, it, it would have been a little bit. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, you're right. It is a little bit dangerous if Kick has to gone for a different for a musketeer composition or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. So we didn't see the three cav coming out. Um, if we did, um, that might uh, that house might have gone down. Um, yeah. Yeah, we saw four career one instead, which is which is fine. Um, I was, I was hoping for the three cat out of kick ass, but you know, what can <laughs> yeah, you me do? Me too. Well, we all are every game. Yeah. Uh, so the, the two Ulans kind of come in. Well, both the calves are just sort of dancing around on this right side. Looks like uh, kick ass is going to go for a second TP. And um, batch of four Ulans coming out and 700 gold being shipped for the German player. Uh, sometimes you see 700 wood before then, but looks like he. Gold is a good shipment here. He's got all of his market ups that he wants. Uh, he'll be up to age three, nice and early, and he's got enough cav to defend from Kickass's raids. Yeah. So this is like the the nine run semi FF from Germans. Um, in this case, eight yeah. runs, but yeah, close enough where you just um, send three settler wagons and then you go to age three as quickly as you can. Um, it's and yeah, we, we're the France has a similar time. agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Um, France is shipping uh, 700 coin now, and I believe he's going to just try to age up as soon as he can. Yeah. And uh, Kickass is going to bring his Hussar forward, and those Hussar will beat those Ulans if they are, um, if there's no defender's advantage. But with the TC fire and some smart villager pop, it could be a pretty close fight. Oh, yeah, I think um, Kickass definitely doesn't want to get into this one um, if he can avoid it. Um, I think he, he is right. a little bit behind on the age up, right? You can see he doesn't have uh, uh, 1,200 wood right now, or food, uh, to be able to do the age up. 
Um, so Regal Penguin is going to be aging up or finishing the age up before Kick-Ass even starts. Just to be a little bit careful not yeah, to get that That's such a strength of Germany, right? They both have very similar cab masses, but Legal Penguin is already aged up before Kick-Ass is clipped. And Germany just has such um, an early fortress agenda. I mean, he can ship 9 Ulan now, or 8 Skirms, or some other thing, and he can probably take down both these TPs before France can mount an attack. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a, yeah, an awkward position for Legal Penguin, actually. I just noticed um, he sent the 700 wood shipment, um, but it arrived right as he aged up. So he kind of like sacrificed the ability to send a thousand wood to get that uh, 700 wood a bit earlier. Yeah. Um, maybe not yeah. necessarily optimal. I think it would have been better to just uh, wait it out, get that 1,000 wood. Um, I agree but, with you on that one. Yeah. And he, and he, he hit that house button and needed to do that now. Oh, yeah. Um, he sent a shipment. And uh, I, I, don't, I honestly would like to see uh, a Ulan. Or is it, do they have a nine Ulan shipment? They do have nine Is that right? Yeah, it's That's a very ridiculous. good shipment. I'd, yeah. like, I'd like to see nine Ulan and a better C um, upgrade. And then I'd just like to see a Siege on this TP. But yeah. we'll, we'll see what he opts to do. Uh, well, we saw the veteran C coming. Um, I don't think he has a shipment. Um, available, so I don't think we're seeing one uh, right now. That is to say, the next shipment he's going to get is is the only shipment he's going to have. Um, so as a result, oh, you know, it's all a little bit late. Yeah. Uh, Kickass, meanwhile, I, he's got another shipment coming. I think. Yeah, he just got the five dragoons out. Um, I wonder if he has even another shipment on top yeah, of that. I can't tell. And he, and he made five more. Oh yeah. Actually, uh, he has, I don't uh, think there's another dragoons. shipment. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so a nice mass, and now this is where the interesting dynamic of the map goes into play. We see neither player is pushing through the middle of the map. It's just like sort of revolving circular manner. Yeah. And these five Ulans could be, uh, yep, they're going to be caught out of position. Um, unfortunate to lose those five, but now he does know there's this cavalry mass approaching his base. Uh, nonetheless, he's going to keep raiding with his little raiding force. Looks like he will pick up one CDB, maybe if he sees it, does not. Yeah, unfortunately, and now this is. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of skirmishers out right now. Um, oh, and yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of. This is a from scary this. mass. Yeah. This is sort of that hussar dragoon composition that can sometimes, uh, oftentimes, can work against early Germany. Yeah. Just yeah. because they do go for so much ulans, and hussar dragoons just crush ulans. Yeah, Hussar Dragoon is a very mobile composition that lets you defend and attack um, kind of at the same time. Yeah. You can do all of these things where you can catch villagers, uh, you can keep the Alans from getting out of control with the raids, uh, like he's doing right now. Uh, definitely, a yeah, exactly. and you can do all these random Mulan catches which, like we just saw, so... Yeah, I think Kick-Ass is in a pretty pretty good position right now. Um, sending nine the, Ulans... The Hussar do get trapped under the base, but uh, he's going he's gonna to catch all of these Ulans. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a huge pickup for him. And, oh gosh, that's just brutal. Those EP Ulans dropping like flies. Oof. Oh yeah. Wow. And uh, yeah, Kickass has a military advantage right now. A lot of villagers going for a little exploration mid map going back now. Yeah. I'm guessing it's uh, Legal Penguin doesn't have his uh, select military uh, button on. So the when, right when he drag uh, boxes everything to go attack, oh. he just clicks. Oh yeah, just yeah. To, yeah. I see. I like easy drag military. Some other top players will say it's really bad to have it on. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I used to I not have it on, and then I moved it on, and it, it kind of it, it works both ways. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's really useful to have, and it's really annoying. Um, but I, I think if if you play with it on and then you turn it off or something. I don't know, yeah, it really just yeah, messes yeah. with me. I'm just I think, too lazy. Um, I don't remember actually, if you don't have it on, uh, if you're allowed to press out to, to turn it on, force it on, because I know if you have it on, you can press out and that will force it off. Um, yep, yeah, yeah, if you hold alt while you drag box, it does the opposite of whatever. Oh, uh, okay. Like, okay, then in uh, practice it doesn't really matter, you just need to hold down the Yeah. Key. Okay. Yeah, exactly, you just have to be wary of it. So yeah. I guess it's whatever you find more convenient. All right, well, let's see. Um, um, a few skirmishers. An artillery foundry. Ah, uh, from Kikets. That's, that's news. Oh, interesting, yeah. I actually remember um, uh, Kikets making... No, never mind. Um, 
Oh, wait, who was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kick-Ass did it against Irish Faithful, right? Uh, back uh, last year oh, uh, yeah. for Autumn 2016. Um, and that was a very did famous game. Did he win that game. game? No, he lost because um, Irish Faithful had a, um, a, a culver ring out. Do uh, you remember this? Yeah. Maybe and then I don't there's, remember uh, there, there's uh, you know, a little bit of suspicion about like how, to, how did he get that culver ring out? How did he know that? There's, oh, uh, I yeah. remember that now. Yes, that was, that was some nice drama. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It, it, like the culver ring timing was perfect too. It was, it was. It was like right there. It was there. phenomenal. Yeah. It was on, uh, what was the map? Wasn't it Cascade Range? Yeah, yeah. Cascade Is that Range. right? Or... Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Maybe, okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Actually, a pretty good raid coming okay. down here. Um, oh, no. Okay, yeah, he's, nice he's going to see it. Uh, the Dragoons are actually not in position, although there are a few Cuirassiers out here. To be honest, the Cuirassiers could almost just take that fight by themselves. Yeah, they that. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Yeah. But, like, honestly, like, they could probably... Yeah, the thing was, he, he, he didn't does, need... If he does some nice micro, he's doing some nice micro. He's going to save all three of the cures. Yeah, he does save... That was well, nice. Yeah. I mean, it, one of those is at 11 hit points. They're actually all pretty low now. Um, I'm wondering That's if true. the illegal thing would actually... He saves like half of those Ulans, which is pretty good. You know, that, that trade could have gone a lot better for him. He could have gotten a lot of those villagers too. Um, maybe gotten a couple of the queers as well. Um, right. But... I was afraid that he was just gonna like get like no villagers and then lose all of his Rulans. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, he, he so did walk away with something there. Yeah. Um, three Falconuts coming out. Looks like he's just gonna move his army and put pressure on this left side of the map. Yeah. yeah we do have some exposed, some exposed villagers out there. Some resources that a legal penguin would like to gather from. And we see the nice drag box with the Rikoi tomahawk uh, with all the cavalry. Uh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So Kickass didn't even go for a barracks this game. Actually, he's just going pure dragoon <laughs> with um, yeah, some yeah. of the some of the cavy ships in, um, and then these two falconets. Interesting composition. Although I think in this case it's going to be enough. Right. Um, really, at this point, you'd like to see him ship cav combat. I think he that could have maybe been sent instead of the three cuirassiers at thirteen minutes. Uh, oh, when yeah. you go for the yeah, all right. cavalry composition, it becomes a really good card. Uh, this is a pretty brutal raid, using his Dragoons to body block. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was, was going to go okay for Legal Penguin, but that actually did not go very well at all. Um, I should have put no. on recalculated population, and that kind of shows that the, the economic population is not going so well for him. Uh, it's yeah, 40 quite a disparity yeah. in both compartments, too, as well as the military. These three Falconets are going to do a number. Yeah, I mean, if those, if those Falconets go down, then this is actually not so bad for, for Legal Penguin. Right. Right, I'd like. To, I don't know if Minutemen have been called. If they have, yeah. Um, that could be nice here. Oh uh, no, it's yeah, it's just not gonna just, work. Uh, yeah, those are some good volleys coming out of the Falcon Nets. And uh, looks like that's gonna be game one, going in favor of Kick Ass in this best of three. Yeah. Uh, looks like Kickass got a couple of nice raids going on uh, during this game. There was um, one around ten minutes in where he. Picks up, um, I guess, five villagers, and then another one, uh, just just now at the end of this game. Legal Penguin had had some glimmers of hope. He got that that two villager raid, which could have been uh, maybe you know five or six villagers even, uh, which would have uh, gone very well for right. him. But yeah, he, I, I like Legal Penguin's build. The nine Ulan or the eight Ulan Simeonov was well executed. He macroed well. Yeah, uh, got his market upgrades, you know, right away. Did everything correctly. I just think um, maybe shipping seven hundred wood instead of waiting for the one thousand. Uh, right, right. Yeah, could be something you could... close, but not not quite there. Right. Oh. All right, we're going to game number two. So, um, looks like Malaysia now. Um, oh, which is, interesting. Yeah, another another map we didn't see last series. Um, so that, that's good. Yeah, we're getting some good map variety here. Yeah. Uh, this this map, you know, I, I, I was a little bit confused about this map when I first saw it. It's got like these two trading posts that are on opposite side of the map, which is tricky because uh, 
you, you don't get that third trading post, which you which you often want. Kind of like the common, the standard map, um, the Arkansas, the yeah. common chat guys have that third trading post. Um, mm -hmm. But then it's also got that water on both sides. Uh, also, uh, as A's will tell you, it doesn't look like Malaysia. Um, Malaysia right. does not look yeah, like this. <laughs> There's been a voice on that since the beginning. I I I always wanted a Nebraska map. I think that'd be fun. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we have one? It, it seems like well, it's pretty much have... it's pretty much Great Plains. But then they made an Iowa. Yeah, we have an Iowa. Iowa. We have an Iowa Arkansas. Also doesn't look like that. And we have an Arkansas. Yeah, we have California. I think we have a couple of, a couple of Californias. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, we have Baja California and just regular California. Yeah, um, you guys get all the special treatment. Yeah. Is there a New York map? No, like, Nebraska. New York area map? We could... What's that? Um, a, a New York area map? Like... Oh, um... I'm, I'm trying to sure think of what is. would be... Like, so that's, like, roughly where the Iroquois what's, are. What's, like what's Hudson Bay? Where's that at? Oh. Uh, that's kind of... That's yeah, kind of north, right? Yeah, like I, always, I always think of Hudson Bay as being a Saguenay, because it's... Yeah, uh, right. it's like literally the same map. My, ge my, the same place. my geography is not great. Uh, um, yeah. hmm. Surely there's a New York area map. Something forested? Maybe not. Hmm. I don't yeah, know. I'm trying to think. Um, um, I mean, H Hudson Bay has to be it, right? That, that's that's what it is, but. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it was my ice uh, from the freezer. Uh, <laughs> kind of like coming out here. That makes sense. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> make some oh, I guess I didn't realize Hudson Bay was pretty much Canada. How did I not know that? How bad is my geography? It's huge. I guess I just never look at Canada. Oh yeah, Canada's oh. a massive place. Okay. It is. It's very big. Yeah. So, I guess, um, I, I wasn't really paying attention to what this player's picked. Um, I guess, I'm assuming kick -ass picked first, and he picked British. Um, Eagle Penguin responded with Chinese. Um, so. It's really hard typing without the letter U and the the number seven. And try yeah, to type so seven hundred wood. <laughs> you still don't have it's like things. zero zero wood. <laughs> So yeah, for those of you who don't know, Callum broke his keyboard um, and his computer, yeah. but especially his keyboard, and the letter U doesn't work anymore. Um, yep, the letter so, U and the letter and the number seven. Yeah. Uh, spilled a little beer on it and then dropped it at the same time, but uh, it survived. <laughs> but you finally got your computer fixed, so at least one thing's yeah. better. That's I'm actually, I was anyway. really, it is, it's, the other one is real hot piece of garbage, but this one can still do things. I was actually really surprised when it actually booted up and I didn't screw anything up, so. I'm gonna turn my mic down. Pretty there. good. Okay. So we do have, um, this is game number two, and the best of three. Kick-Ass is up 1-0. The map is Malaysia, and the players are um, Kick-Ass playing British, and the color Cyan. And legal penguin playing China in the colored blue. Yeah, thank you for. Uh, it looks uh, like it was just a two hundred wood start. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I thank you for casually player. reminding me to update the score. I didn't do that last time. Uh, oh, so, I yeah. just remembered it, so yeah. no problem. Yeah, uh, legal penguin actually he, he spots this uh, ninety wood treasure right off the bat. Um, yeah, well, isn't going for it, but I, I really hope he turns around and gets it because that's that's an extremely too. powerful treasure, especially for China who has. Yeah, a huge problem especially at this time of the game. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, he's you actually can... going to go for the trading post early on. Right, okay. and, and I like that. Um, I don't know if he... Okay, so 
let's say he goes for the 90 wood right after he builds a trading post and he stops chopping wood right now. I'm not sure if he gets his um, village up in time or not to not be housed. Yeah, it's definitely going to be he close. He, he, he moved all those villagers away, so he's definitely going to go for he that did. 90 wood. He's banking on it being the case. Um, I don't yeah. think he's in danger of getting it stolen, but yeah, he is in danger of having like a slightly awkward timing with the houses. Yeah, I think he'll be fine though, or at least well enough. It's definitely worth it with the villager seconds he saved. Um, both players doing some scouting. There are, of course, the yaks that uh, especially the Chinese player would like to get. Fatten them up. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I think the, the way that it works on this map is that they kind of follow the trade line, most of them. So if you go, kind of go along this path, uh, then you get all of the yaks. Um, that's a good observation. Yeah, or actually they're not yaks, they're water buffalo in this case. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess I guess water buffalo live in Malaysia, but not yaks. Um, yeah, that, that would make sense. Yeah. So, okay, so the Chinese player has been housed for a while. Uh, I find that sometimes happens to me as well. But still, a 90 wood is a good treasure to get. And he's picking up a decent amount of water buffalo. There's still a lot of them on the field uh, that haven't been scouted yet. Yeah, I don't know if either player kind of noticed the uh, the pathway uh, that you have to go kind of cross trade route yeah. to get all the water buffalo, and that's the best way to do it. Uh, I, and I don't know, uh, how many? Go ahead. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure actually how many uh, water buffalo Kikas actually picked up. Looks like he only's gotten one so far. Just one. Yeah, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't really been paying attention. And they're to what all they've just been doing. they're just all on the TP line. And it brings up a good point, like you said. Um, a lot of the times, the livestock in these maps have the not like predetermined set spawns, but they're generally in the same area, like it's the same idea. And so it's sort of, it's actually quite beneficial to look at the maps ahead of the game and learn how to play the, their age ones, and you can actually get a pretty large benefit just from knowledge of where the good treasures spawn and where the livestock spawn. Yeah, that's actually a good point, and it's kind of one of the things that separates like the lieutenant colonel players and the majors from like that next point uh, to, to colonel plus, the, knowing like the different details of the maps and knowing well, what to do on the map and how to play out that age one. Yeah, it, exactly. It, it can really make a, a big difference um, trying to optimize those very small things, which start to start to creep up. Um, For sure. Like, yeah, Kickass. He's going to be getting another forty wood right now, uh, so he's been doing pretty well in the treasures. Um, looks like Legal Penguin only has gotten that ninety wood, um, whereas Kickass has picked up. Um, now he's t picked up a total of seventy-five wood and ninety food, and a couple of like, these minor treasures. So coming a little bit ahead there, um, although. I think he is. He hasn't gotten quite as lucky with the water buffalo, um, whereas Legal Penguin has been doing very well in there. Yeah, and uh, Legal Penguin will just now be aging up. Um, he chose not to eat his goat, so his age up is going to be a little bit slower. But that could help him. Uh, well, generally the goat doesn't really help up your fortress time. Um, but he could just be saving it for later. Yeah, I think uh, both I think... players just kind of doing some scouting in each other's base. Yeah, actually, Kickass was in a little bit of danger of losing his explorer. Oh, he does lose the explorer. Nice. Uh, yeah. So he, he gets the disciple, but he does lose the explorer. And I think, you know, overall, it's not great to lose the disciple, but I'd rather have the explorer. It's just so useful for scouting. Uh, Kickass is not going to know right. what's going to happen right now with Legal Penguin. Uh, I actually don't even know if he knew yeah, about the Yeah, it's angels. a nice, nice little pickup. Uh, unfortunately, you can kind of assume that China is not going to play H2. And especially this matchup is so Brit favored. We see a forward Rax. Um, if China does decide to play H2, Brit will generally just win anyways because they're the much better H2 Civ. Otherwise, yeah. it seems like a lot of the times the preferred uh, build order for Brits is to do some sort of uh, Virginia Company uh, FF and then just go into Veteran Musketeers and Veteran Hussar, uh, which really does... It's a quite a good combo against China because China doesn't have a goon unit because um, Keshiks are bad. Yeah. So, yeah, China's so Musk has... It's just not yeah. there at all. Like, Changdai, exactly. Jiang, they're okay, but they're all these, like, melee units. Um, and then, yeah, no, yeah, no it's, Dragoon. It's why, it's why Musk Huss in H3 is actually probably the best combo you can go against China. Uh, early Manchus could maybe be a problem, but... Well, it looks like Kick S is going to try to play this out in H2 anyways. You can see a forward Rax. Oh, yeah, and forward Pike Five too. Pikes. Wow. Yeah. Actually, this wonder might be outside of DC range, that little corner. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been interested in that. It's actually very exposed. I think the, the trees are in the way, so it's not going to be great for a kick ass to kind of go for, but it's definitely yeah. possible that it can happen. It's, it's nice placement in that it kind of shields these two mines, but it's just uh, perhaps it's a little bit far away. I'm not sure yet. Uh, these five pikes are really taking a stroll around, um, looping, getting caught by this explorer, and a stable going down and now four musketeers. So looks like Kick-Ass wants to apply some pressure and the coin is in for legal penguin. Uh, he needs to gather that up and not chop any more coins so he can age as soon as he can and pr probably eat some livestock just because he needs to, the only thing he needs to focus on right now is not losing villagers and getting that wonder down ASAP because there's really not enough pressure here from kick -Ass to do much damage. Yeah, I, I mean he's doing a little bit here. He didn't get the explorer which was interesting because I kind of was, I saw him go for it. Um, he is going to get I think one villager now. Um, yeah. And Legal Penguin still isn't actually in a great position to, to be aging up. He doesn't have um, really the, enough food right now. Um, and maybe he doesn't even have... I mean, he's doing pretty well on gold. I think he actually should move some of this really yeah. gold. Um, yeah, he'll have a little too much gold. Um, I almost think it would have been worth it to call both sets of minutes and, and then macro uh, for the age up. But yeah, the, I think he's going to get this... Um, this um, Sorry, this village down, and that's going to be uh, a little bit of, of, of work. He, he does call both Minutemen, but I think they're, you know, they weren't really uh, rallied the right way he wanted them to be. Uh, so he's going to push this. Yeah, he's still going to. He's going to push it out. He's popped now, um, and and like we said, he has a bit too much coin. Yeah, it's it's kind of an awkward uh, situation now, where he needed that 160 food to be able to age up. Um, and yeah. Maybe it was a little bit early to be calling those Minutemen. I think I think maybe just the uh, the regulars, the ranged ones, would have been enough. Uh, the sentries might have been a bit preemptive because they didn't really, they don't really do much damage. Yeah, true. The, the the melees, um, they do snare, which can be nice, yeah. but um, he's gonna be up soon. And this is really sort of the most important part when you play China is macro. I mean, you really have to macro for that age up. Yeah. Uh, it's because you need to get it down ASAP. Uh, realistically, he would have liked to have been aging up, you know, a almost a minute ago, maybe? Yeah, he'd like to be up right now, basically. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, that, you can see the difficulty with the sentries now. They, they weren't uh, ready to take down. I mean, even though they were only two hostile, they you kind of needed um, just a little bit of protection against the anti-cab, especially with this Chukunu coming out now from, from the Summer Palace. Uh, it looks like he yeah. is going to be able to age up, uh, and he's getting that War Academy down. I don't think that Kick-Ass is noticing, um, so he's not going to no. stop it, which is good. And um, he's also repairing, he repaired that village, which is huge. Oh, and he's yeah. got these three Chokunus left. If he can keep these three Chokunus outside of the Musketeer's range, I mean, he can... Uh, oh, and, and bring this Explorer in, uh, gather some more food, and, and make some Disciples. There, there are just so many little parts of playing China that... Uh, can make a huge difference. Just little things which can make a huge difference. Definitely, yeah. I, I think he, he was actually doing pretty well saving some of his villagers. He, he lost a few, but it wasn't so bad. Uh, he is losing now Chukunu. Yeah. He has to be a bit careful about those. Um, I mean, Kukunu, He did ship a, a Chukunu. Yeah, that, that, that's going to be good. Although... Which I'm not even... Yeah, I'm not even um, upset with that shipment. Uh, okay, now it's there's no anti yeah. And yeah, now there's no sentry, yeah. and that's going to be dangerous. He kind of wanted to switch off the standard army and old, onto the old arm to yeah, avoid that's true. this happening. Uh, but actually, he's doing okay. Like, I don't know. The stars are going down. Um, they are. The, the TC fires are yeah. yeah. But still, almost all those choke are going to go down, unfortunately. And he, he will... The biggest thing is he doesn't have a consulate down yet. So he doesn't have access to intervention, which would probably be the first shipment he wants to send. Yeah. Meanwhile, oh, yeah, Kick-Ass is, Kick is going to age up behind this. He ships 700 gold to the tower. Um, and, and I think he's happy with the damage he's been able to do, which has been pretty effective. Yeah, I mean, keeping, keeping these uh, units under the town center is actually... I mean, he's, he's ahead economically. He didn't do a ton of economic damage, but it was, it was probably enough. Um, there is no consulate, um, although Legal Penguin does have enough resources to make one if he wants to. Um, and did... No, okay, so th there was only 
Um, he didn't take down a village, but uh, he didn't need to because there's only two villages due to the trading post. So, yeah, I mean, coming in, coming into age three, Kickass is is in a pretty good lead, I, I would say. I mean, he, he's yeah, in a bit no, of danger of, of dying to the shipments, but I think, you know, China China doesn't really, I think, win off the shipment spam. They win off um, getting a few of them together and just going with a big mass of cavalry. So, you kind of even when it's going to get age three, China, you kind of have to wait a little bit before you really get going. Yeah, and Ch China's timing is going to be a little bit uh, more awkward now since he did ship those age two news and age two. Um, it's going to be less scary, that's for sure. Meanwhile, the British player can just keep massing the same units he's been making, Musketeers and Hussar, and then just upgrade them when he ages. Uh, right now, Kikas is looking to be in a pretty nice lead. Ten arcs are shipped, just as four cav are coming. Yeah, that it could, could be very be... bad. Oh no! And it looks like he's smelling. Oh, he smells blood, and he's going for it. Yeah, I mean, you can make it work with um, the step riders. With the okay, yeah, Kickass is gonna yeah. pull back. Maybe a yeah, little he's bit. Running yeah, running away. Yeah, it's unclear. Maybe prematurely, but yeah, I, I guess both players. Uh, Kickass kind of uh, wanted to be a little bit safe. He doesn't really need to get that that uh, pick. Um, and he would have lost a bunch of cap if it didn't work. And it was a little close, right? Like, if um, yeah. Legal Penguin uh, makes all the disciples, uh, uses his villagers to tank, he, he would probably be able to hold that without actually losing too many Arc Right. Coming okay, out with a non-red too, yeah. Shift. And he's 100x port away from... Is that right? 100x Is he still 100x port away from... Okay, I thought they came sooner than this, but maybe um, I'm wrong. It, it, they do when you're gathering resources, but there is so much uh, time that Legal Penguin wasn't, which made it hard. Good point. Yeah. I, th I think we'll see um, it coming in a couple of minutes. Yeah, for sure. The Porcelain Tower is on wood, which is what we like to see. Uh, perhaps a market um, would be nice as well. Yeah, it looks like uh, Legal Penguin actually needs to uh, switch some of his macro around. He's got uh, 800 gold floated unless he wants to ship the mount you which might be a good which idea which would yeah be a good if, shipment if he had it in his deck which... um but he does not have it in his deck oh yeah he so. does not hmm. and unfortunately he cannot lay down a monastery and find mamelukes like an re oh uh, yeah it's too bad <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, I mean, we're seeing Cat uh, come yeah. out. Um, he probably needs to eat some of those uh, water buffalo, which is doing good. Uh, needs to yeah. move a couple of those villagers away from gold, because if he had the Manchu, it would be okay, but he doesn't, so this is just uh, starting to get a little bit uh, too much gold. Um, yep. Falcon is going in. You know, there's not actually a lot of anti cav in this. There's only some musketeers. Um, I guess the Hussars can block, but yeah. there's, there's yeah. potential to take these off. I mean, with... with Hmm. It's gonna be, I mean, okay, so that one falconet is gonna go down. It's right in the front. Hopefully, yeah. In the musketeers and melee, that's smart. Um, although, Kickass's my friend is pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, the musketeers, I think, went, went a bit too far out. Yeah, um, and, th and then that last falconet's gonna stand up and do a number on his arc and stairs. Yeah, I think. Not, not quite enough units for Legal Penguin here. Uh, maybe needed one more batch of cav to be able to make it work. Um, but if he had that extra batch of cav, I think he would have uh, done actually pretty well here. Um, yeah. And you can see, and, right, and... with all those, with that, with that 1600 gold floating, you could have had, had probably two more batches of cav in, in this army. Um, and if he did, he would have actually been in good shape. Yeah, and um, I mean, it wasn't as bad of a game as playing when uh, Legal Penguin is letting on. I mean, with just a few sort of simple corrections to his H2, just slightly a little bit better mic uh, macro so that he can age up um, a bit sooner. And then that way he doesn't necessarily have to ship H Choker News in H2 and then he gets an extra card in H3. Right. And then his timing is that much better. Yeah. So it's just a lot of little things that uh, I think he can improve on and uh, uh, step up his game if he wants to. Yeah. The, the H Choker uh, when they came out I was, I was a little bit hesitant, kind of might have been unnecessary. Uh, he, he definitely needed some protection, but um, that that's a shipment in H3 yeah. that you don't get. Um, and that, that right, really yeah, helps you. Because exactly. once you get H3, wow. those H2 can do basically, you know, it's worth maybe maybe half that many Arcabusiers. It's just not a good ship at yeah. that point. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, so that concludes our second series. Kick-Ass takes it 2-0. 2-0. Uh, this is the round of 96. Round of 96, okay. yeah. We, we changed the terminology. It used to be called the round of 128, but um, that's that wasn't technically accurate. So now it's the round of 96. Okay. Um, and then I do believe we have one more series yet one more today. Series, yep. uh, Gib the Dirty versus uh, Jory, Jory 